a response poem to the white boy dressed in wigger that called me a fat black bitch because I didn't give him my phone number. So I usually wear my headphones to avoid all unwanted attention, walking by people as if they are statues. When he yelled from the depths of his belly, I was trying to help you out and give you my phone number, you fat black bitch. With the pink shirt on, oh damn, he's talking to me. My feet become magnets to the concrete. My hands form the biggest fist they could find. My head spins around something like the exorcist. Call me Emily Rose. I channel every big mama I know down my bloodline. I channel my 1993 Queen Latifah. Who you calling the bitch? I never seen such a worst case of locked jaw before in my life. A deer caught in headlights. So you deaf, dumb, and blind now? If you can't take the heat, you gonna burn in this here kitchen. You were just trying to help me out, you say. So you decided to give the help some help. I get it, peasants don't always recognize royalty, but this be Nefertiti you see before you. So, ah, sorry, massa. Were well, you trying to give me, give me a better credit score? Let me guess, let me guess, I remind you, I remind you of the mammy your grandfather used to tell you about. Or I look like the stray Labrador you found when you were a child and you have a hankering to suddenly make 101 Dalmatians or the black quota you trying to meet in your friends. I don't care how many Wu-Tang songs you know or how you can really relate to Biggie and Tupac or that your parents got a divorce when you were 20 so you comprehend what the struggle. You traded and how you traded in your privilege and how you traded in your privilege for a pair of Jordans. Wigger, please. I start to hear the murmurs play hide and seek behind his teeth. If I was black, you wouldn't have said no. I'm flattered, really, but my phone number is not racist. My time is not prejudiced. For the record, I was wearing headphones and couldn't hear you. Now look here even more ridiculous than you look, but understand this. Even if you are drowning in kente cloth, the complexion of right blackberries, first name Martin, last name X, if you don't give me the respect I deserve, you couldn't even earn my seven figures if you didn't put the work in. Whose circus do you belong to, clown? This husky begs for no bones, I takes mine. You don't see low self-esteem written around my collar. Not all intentions are good intentions, so call me a bitch. Well, I'll give you something to bitch about. Call me a werewolf, call me a liking, call me that three-headed guard dog in Harry Potter, call me a hyena, call me a big black poem, call me a lady, but hold the tramp, please, bitch.